Welcome back, my fellow duplicants, to Oxygen Not Included. This is Dupalo episode four. So in the last episode here, we decided to take a couple dupes and we started to put them down here in the base and they're doing some research to try to save the space station up above. So those guys right now are pretty much surviving because they're running on a manual generator and harvesting voles right now in order to keep the heat down, the oxygen flowing, and that's pretty much it <laughs> so in today's episode we're going to be we're going to try to get the power situation a little bit better under control because we have uh, access to some coal down here that'll help a little bit the other thing is that we want to start to research things like a, a mechanized airlock because we're going to be passing stuff between the two biomes and ideally we want to be able to move between those two biomes a little bit more quickly so right now we're using the ladders but we'd also potentially like the fire pole as well so mechanized airlock things for power and the power pole are pretty much uh, high on my list of priorities right now we might try to throw a couple more dupes down here in the bottom base just so that we can uh, increase the amount of research that we're doing there so if we just take a look at what we're researching right now what are we researching plumbing plumbing is okay that's a good one too the electrolyzer is pretty pretty handy especially oh okay especially now that we have the water geyser up here hmm there is a tool to figure out just how much water we're going to get out of that we can see it hasn't been very long and my goodness we got a lot um so we might want to just throw a tile there let's see what happens high stress trivaldo yeah sorry bud you need something else to do don't you there right, go run on the wheel all right did we just finish the power grid maybe look at this poor power grid look at it it goes from here to there over the this is just madness this is madness insufficient coal okay so i do have coal set up right here maybe we'll deliver a little bit right there geysers to my left oh okay right there yeah let's go poke that and see what nasty things come out of it and my right now they're probably around there's there should be a lot of geysers on this map there's probably more not far away <laughs> Zoe's got the research under control so that's happening and let's see what else we got going on here people decide now's a good time to start messaging me is anybody ever going to dig this and pick up the meat that'd be good oh you know there might be something in here there's some water in there and I can hear it so if you take a look at the temperature I'm guessing there's a steam geyser or something in there Maybe. Kind of sounds like one. As far as the germs over here, they, they shouldn't be too bad. We're just talking about a little bit of slime there. Oh, here we go. Okay, so we're throwing some power in the coal generator. That's not going to be enough to keep this thing running 100% all the time. But it should be going somewhere, unless it's not connected. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, hang on. There's something I can't see back here. And that is an automation wire. So we gotta get rid of that. Lerda's got it, don't worry. We'll be okay, where's she going? Oh, you just needed some dinner, I got it. You surprised that I made it this far? Well, I mean, I, I wouldn't say we're I'm doing all that great, but keeping things together down here I guess hopefully we get one more dupe down there and then that'll that'll be well under its way on its way to being something a little bit better I want to see if this thing's getting super hot nope not at all all right here we go so we're going to deconstruct this little bit of automation wire there that should allow the power to start to flow through there we go so the power goes up if we take a look at the liquid it's detecting that it's at 40 degrees. What do you detect if it's above then? Oh. <laughs> but what is that connected to? That is connected to this, which is not in use. Do I got bigger batteries yet? Okay, great. I'll put some big batteries down here. Get rid of these little guys. The little guys are not all that great. They take forever. <laughs> yeah, even if the guys die up there, well, at least these ones should hopefully survive. Hopefully. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, there we go. So now, what I should be seeing is the temperature starts to come down. We're now down to 36. It's 
running out of power all the time, but that's to be expected. So it's just going to bounce up and down per the coal generator. I see one duplicate. Where's my other duplicate? Oh, there he is. I can never get meep when I, when I start into the base. Like, it just never happens. You guys might see a return of super meep, actually. I was thinking he should show up. And then if the, another meep shows up, he loses his superpowers. Something like that. When do I think I'll become a Twitch affiliate? Probably the end of the month. Once I've streamed enough. I, it really just requires me to go live at this point. I have the stats. It's not... Um, a partner is a different thing, though. Hmm. Mouth breather, loud sleeper, biohazardous. That's not too bad. Oh, destructive is not the best negative trait in the world. We'll bring in another dupe. Kazel, welcome to the base. Good luck. So we need to disable this building up here. Excuse me. <clears throat> Kazel, this way. And now you need to move down here so you don't run away with the suit. Thank you. And all my dupes were like, oh, hey, look, he finally turned the thing off. <laughs> and they've all managed to run past. Okay, well. No, Travaldo. You. These dupes. Okay, so what we need to do is make sure we keep setting the custom access. There you go. Hello. Uh, you need to start researching, and you need to probably research jobs, just so that we can finally get that stuff rolling. Hmm, a fungal spore would be a good one. Ah, good. At least I have one more dupe down here, because now I have two that can be doing research, one that does the delivering, or the power, or whatever, and that just makes it a lot easier. Oh, who's starving to death? And when are you ever duped? Dig this up. Right at level 9. Am I going to have to allow Lurda to go do this? Let's take a look at the temperature. Are we getting things under control up here? 46.9 degrees. Prob I would say no. I would say nope. It is flowing out at 36 degrees. I suppose that's an improvement over 40. You guys are going to have to pee a lot. <laughs> How much algae do we have rolling around here? Oh. Something happened. Research. Algae. Got lots of algae down there. I don't think I can click on all of that. I think what I want to do is, is start placing shared resources right here. It's kind of a new weird way to kind of deal with the game. We have to share the resources. So with sandstone... Go ahead and build that right there. There we go. Now we get a job support. Eh, just some temporary things down there. Okay, Travaldo, you're going to go over here. You got this. And you're going to use your proximity abilities. To dig. To dig. Oh, man. Travaldo. Dig. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, so we got that done. We got our jobs board done. Let's go ahead and get to the next chunk of research. I think the fire pole might just be the... Ooh, no. Then we need the advanced research. So many things you need to get. What? How did you get down here? And how do you have a suit? Where'd you pick that up from? Quantity two. Sweep the suit. Hey, hey, hey. Drop it. Hmm. Okay. See, you... No, see, you can't get past there. And they can only go in. How did they get past the uh, impenetrable duplicate defense force? Like, we got all these gates set up. <laughs> you say if they can cross the door vertically, then they could ignore the permissions. Are you kidding? 
guys always have a way, don't you? Who's starving? Just you, Travaldo? You'll be alright. You just swept up meat. See, there's some more over here. Go ahead and sweep that up. Or don't. This guy just needs to be able to do a little bit of everything. Okay, I know it's blocked. That's why I'm trying to make them dig it. That's what this is for. And Travaldo's just found a way to... Hmm. Gosh, that's a lot. It's polluted oxygen and everything in there. It's not enough. I think he's getting confused with this priority over there. Come on, Travaldo. Just do a little digging. You're going the wrong way, buddy. There you go. There you go. Now, where are you going? He's hungry, but he's not hungry enough to miss out on a table. <laughs> All right, so, so far we've done a good amount of research thus far. Uh, fire pole would definitely help, but we also need to have a door as well, so queue up everything and just keep researching. <laughs> Air filters. I'm a little worried about how much slime lung I have floating around up here. That might become a problem. I wish I could just type in here. This is so... Oh, gee, there we go. Consumable ore, coal, put that at a priority of four so that it kind of gets moved up. There we go. So that seems to be working out there. So long as we can deliver a couple suits up back here. Because for whatever reason, those got dragged all the way down here. <laughs> Jobs mastered. Oh, we're going to have to look at that. Uh, okay, so these guys need some jobs. What do you, what do you got? A morale of two. Not really much of anything, but... So, Kazelle, we do have Enable Harvest. You guys should be able to pick this stuff up. But you need to cook it and then make this stuff. So focused on research, I'm not building this place out all that good. Ah, there's one. Get that food. Come on, Travaldo. Nope. What is this? I need one more spot for you to dig out. Hydrogen vent. Hey, that'll be really useful. Okay, let's go to the consumables. Make sure that they don't eat up all the meal lice. We're going to want to cook that. All right, so if I can research the right stuff here, then I should be able to, to go ahead and generate enough power for pretty much a lot of things. I'm not too far off of that either, and I have the materials to take care of it because I kind of started with that spaceship up there. Let's try to lower the priority on research here for just a minute so I can get this base built out. And then even higher for this, just to block it back up. I don't need all those germs coming in. Oop, looks like they're not actually leaving, but still a good idea. So if you add up what we got going on here with this hydrogen vent, plus what I have going on here with the water geyser, I should be well, yeah, I should be in a really good place as far as how much oxygen um, I can generate and then how much hydrogen power I can also produce as well because the two are going to stack on top of each other. So that should be real handy. <laughs> what is wrong with the priorities of my dupes? They're insane. Uh, there, you guys can just do whatever you need to do. Which is not sit on the research station all day long. <laughs> no! No, no! Stop! <laughs> How are we doing on temperature? Well, uh, nope, not good. Not good. We're up to 43 degrees. It's gone up again. We were down to 30 something. Okay, we're going to disable auto priorities. I feel like the priorities are just like. hard to deal with right now. It's maybe because there's just two different spots or whatever. I don't. Uh, I don't seem to be working out right, quite right. Like, I really need this to be built. Oh, hang on, that's why. It's because it's defaulting to materials that are not available in this part of the map. So it seems to always be defaulting to, like, the best material. Okay, I don't need that. Just need copper. Please. Please, dupes. Stop making that so hard on me. 
I don't need mafic. I can go with sandstone. Uh, all right. You you need to eat. I'll try to get this micro musher up and running so that we can actually. I don't so I don't die. I think I'm going to need the micro mush bar though. I'm also going to need a spot that has carbon dioxide so that I can store it and that isn't exposed to all the, these germs. So I need a CO2 pit. What is this natural gas down here? Hang on. I have like a ton of really great geysers. That's, uh, that's got to be a geyser down there. All right. Who's starving? Gazelle, you did. Go ahead, make yourself some food. Okay, never mind. It's because these wires aren't built. Make them built! Dupes! Help yourselves! No, no. See this over here? That's priority number four. Definitely do that before anything else. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> what is that made out of? Probably some sort of crazy material. Yeah. Thank you. Grab some water. Good. I'll take a close look here. Make sure that you are not starving. There you go. Good job. There's the world seed right, right there. Um, it's also, you could just download the whole map over on the Patreon page. So I have that seed available. Wait. Zo, so, did you just steal food from Gazelle? Oh no. This is getting kind of low. Kind of low, getting kind of low. And then, hold up. Need a new schedule here. I will save you, buddy. Don't worry. No, no. Figure it out. No, no. <laughs> you need to eat. Don't you tell me you're going after the food. There we go. Saved. Man. <laughs> uh, okay. Disaster averted. All right. So this base down here is definitely nothing too fancy. Um. Still, I'm going to try to find a spot to store some food down there. Consumables. You guys can stop making all of that. There we go. <laughs> it definitely wasn't 0.01%. That, that guy was real close. Real close. Almost giving up on these guys up top. Like, Stay at it, guys. You'll be fine. Travaldo over here is just like constantly uh <laughs> trying to de-stress <laughs> all right we don't need all of all of that we can just store the food right down here mafic rock man that is just gonna mess me up every single time i go to make anything copy make it out of something i can make there we go we can just get rid of that melibur you buried our one source of food Okay, there you go. Good job. <laughs> Maybe even worse, you buried that. <laughs> I'm gonna get up here. We'll dig this out. Try to get those guys to shine up a little bit more. All right, another printing pod. Let's see what we got this time. Even though it's a little weird that we sometimes get like food out of the things. I'm okay with it. There you go, have a nutrient bar. Oh, hang on, hang on. Crap. I disabled disinfect, which is not good. Because they were trying to disinfect this whole ladder all day long. So many things you have to worry about this time that like you just don't normally have to worry about. All right, what did we unlock? A water cooler? Excellent. Let's at least give these guys some place to increase their morale so that they can move up to a better job. All right, so one, two, three. Whoops, not that many. Make this out of granite so that it's 
decent. Do they have granite? Maybe. Let's see here. The germs. Okay, that helped. Sort of. Okay, so if we go back up top. Mm, we're doing all right. They still got food, right? Yeah, they have lots of food in here. Look at this. 13,000, 3,000, 4,000 uh, omelets, nutrient bars. Okay, they're okay. They just may be a little toasty, that's all. Actually, what is the temperature now? Now that I see there's some more coal there. 42.3. I wish there was a way to like log a temperature sensor to kind of see a big graph over a good amount of time how hot that would be. I can log certain things, but not that. Wait. What? Gazelle! Crap. Got a little too hungry. Right above the toilets. Right there. Should I put him next to the printing pod? Yeah, there you go. Right next to the printing pod. Meat's back on the end on the menu? No. We're not gonna eat gazelle. You just got here. Yeah, I gave you a job. You could have done it. He could have harvested the mealwood too. Oh well. Hey, there we go. All right. So now we should. What did we just unlock? There we go. Fire poles. Fantastic. Travaldo, you looking forward to a? Yeah. See, you are looking forward to a fire pole. Hmm. What kind of resources do I have available? Uh, they're so spread out between different biomes. Okay. Gold amalgam is probably going to be it. Travaldo, you're you're okay at digging, if you can survive long enough to dig. All right, so what do I want to do next? So germs are potent. This is probably it. This is what I want to do. Because the deodorizer is going to help with my slime lung problem. The mechanized airlock is going to open, help me not vent everything into space when I go to make those uh, tiles wider. So one of the things that's kind of helping me down here from venting everything into space is that gases have a really really hard time flowing within one tile shafts because the two different types of gases don't stack on top of each other um, so they kind of just bump into each other and don't go anywhere so even though this is open right here to what is essentially void space and all that I'm not really losing a lot of pressure Travolt hey my dupes my dupes are figuring it out it was Kazell who was who was just kind of messing us all up. Speaking of which, where, where'd he go? Oh no, he's still there. Never mind. Does anybody want to move the body? Want to help him out? Not Malibur, not Zo. Nobody. Oh, there we go. You know what's interesting is he picked up a thousand kilograms right there, or a hundred, a thousand grams. Sorry, everybody's sad. Who's starving now? Don't you die too. What's going on here? Why can't we... Nah, it's probably because this is too low. There we go. See, so yeah, the, the planter boxes were too low, so therefore the food was not a priority. Uh, that's what... See so yeah, how those I put to seven, so that we make sure we pick them up. Probably why he died down. Have you seen my 100 duplicate video? I, I've done my fair share of uh, dupe slaying. <laughs> Malibur? <laughs> okay, good. So that's in sterile. There we go. We need a couple mess tables in here. That'll help them out. How are these guys doing? They're doing all right. Nope, where are you going? Algae. That's what you're digging up. My funniest challenge thus far. That's a hard question. I don't, I don't even think I can remember them all. The most memorable one is Super Meep. I know that. I don't know about the funniest. They all have their moment. Progress down here is slowed. I need more dupes. Jobs are mastered once again. Let's take a look. Oh, Travaldo, the last thing you need is a higher end job. So plus two to strength. That's not a bad one. You could pick that up. No, you might as well do this one. Plus two to strength, plus 400 kilograms. That'll be good. Bubbles. You've done research assistance. You've done gopher. 
You like to farm, that would be a good job. Lord is my only art student. Let's take a look at the rooms real quick. Hey, there we go. We got a little mess hall. That, that'll help somebody out. Should get these guys set up in a barracks, too, while I'm at it. That doesn't need to be high priority. Hmm. Okay, so we've done... They're just not doing any research at the moment. Hello. All right, who do we need here? Narcoleptic, auto, hmm, <laughs> that's a pretty good duplicate right there. Grim, welcome to the base. I hope you uh, work out a little bit better than Gazelle. <laughs> sorry, sorry. At least he knows where, hey, he knows where to go. What are you doing? You're taking a suit. No, no, Grim. Grim! 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 Oh, Grim. Come over here. <clears throat> I understand you're new. You don't know what's going on just yet. There you go. <laughs> Alright, there we go. We're back to three down here. And the Draco. Just to keep his company because there's always a Draco. Serious lack of hatches at the moment. No, no. No. <laughs> I have one, one day I want to do a challenge where I have duplicates that are, are living in all different parts of the base, right? We have uh, plumbers over here, and we got builders over there, and uh, farmers down here, or whatever it is, and try to all get them to just stay without actually touching each other. After just dealing with kind of having two bases here, I feel like that's going to be a nightmare. Once I get that deodorizer, I can flip over to the algae terrariums and really start uh, taking care of the carbon dioxide and, and increasing the amount of oxygen I can produce because the uh, polluted oxygen that bubbles off of that, I can convert that to oxygen. Somebody's going to lose their bed pretty soon here. So I, I can't help you, buddy. You need to build... One more spot. <laughs> oh, you know what? Here you go. Aha! <laughs> all right, cancel all of that. You don't need all of that today. We gotta keep the progress moving down here. Hey, hey, Draco! Careful what you be eating. Oh man. You know what? At least, at least the shine bugs and the Draco are like each other at the moment. There we go. Back to research. Fantastic. So long as you guys have food, right? Yeah, don't. You really don't. All right. So you guys should really be picking that up and moving it when possible. Lerda, why are you hungry? There's tons of food in here. If you're hungry, it's just because you haven't decided to eat. It's your own fault. There you go. Ideally, this food storage would be over here. Oh well, I'm, I'm gonna move a lot of this stuff. Right now I'm just trying to get the, get the research done so that we can actually power this thing up with hydrogen. What's weird about this is I'm researching things in an order that I've, I normally wouldn't research them. Um, well, I guess, I don't know, I take that back and I guess I would. I would, I would probably get to this a little bit later. I don't know. The whole thing's weird. All right, more jobs mastered. Good deal. Always research the showers first. Uh, yeah, my dupes just run around dirty all day long. Back in here, is that a steam vent? I don't know. It looks like it could be. Might be up there a little bit. How's our food situation up here? Not too bad, not too bad, they're doing all right. Ew. That's bad. Hmm. <laughs> no, I, I didn't want the ice. Speaking of printing something, I wonder how my print's coming along. Uh, looks like it's working okay. Slowly. Slowly printing along. Running some weird stuff today. Uh, high temperature 
PETG. I ran out of my other materials, so I'm like, oh, what do I got laying around? And then stuff smells like cancer, like super cancer. <laughs> Alright, so we're doing alright with the shared resources up the shared resources up there. So that's working. You can see that we're delivering coal, we're delivering algae, and every once in a while you'll see them come down and pick it up. The next thing that we need to research though is we need to get the advanced research done. So one thing, I don't think I want to put dirt up here. Do I want to put dirt up there? I could put dirt up there. I don't remember which tab it's under. Uh, cultivable soil, there it is, dirt. We'll give these guys a little bit of a break so that they can cook up their food, make sure that they're in, ready to do another stint on the research. Okay, so who's there? So you can move to the back of the room because you're noisy. All right, how are we doing liquid-wise? What's the temperatures? Ooh, hey look, we're down to 34 degrees Celsius. All right, every once in a while when I look away, they'll, they'll, they'll throw some power in the coal generator. The coal generator transfers some heat into here. Is that hot? Eh, it's 48 degrees, yeah, it's plenty hot. And then it starts to drop the temperature a little bit. So they may not melt to death, maybe. Imagine people that dial up, oh my gosh. Imagine if we had to go back to dial-up. I used to play MMOs on, on dial-up. That was always fun. Hey, Mom. Yeah, you're not going to be able to use the phone all day. <laughs> Meanwhile, you're lagging everywhere. Lag was just... I mean, it's just, that was just being online. Like, ping? What's that? RuneScape with dial-up? Gosh. There was a time where RuneScape was just like searching for gems or something. Like the game, that was it. That's all you could do. I can't believe the game is still around, personally. <laughs> like it was a feature, not a drawback. <laughs> what are you playing, Battlefield? <laughs> it's almost an advantage. There we go. We'll get things cleaned up. Because that's exactly what we need to worry about right now with people melting in space. Clean up the base. It's highly important. It's gonna make sure everything happens in the right order. <laughs> Trivaldo is starving. It's only because he's been on the toilet for too long. Come on, go grab some food. You got plenty of it. There you go. What was that called? It was the one thing that was like double dial-up. It was ISDN or something. I don't know. I remember going to like the computer store and trying to find the best router that would give us the best connection. I don't know. It's just funny. Like, you're like, ooh, 56 kilobytes. I don't, I didn't know you could get a better connection. ASDL, there it is. I, I, I still don't even know what that was. <laughs> All right. Me, yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, we are saved because Super Meep is here. Welcome to the base, buddy. Oh, he came out of the wrong pinning pod. That's why. All right. So now I got to load up the right tool. Some streamers have two one gigabit per second. I'm lucky to get like five megabits up. And that cost me an arm and a leg and lunch. <laughs> it's like you don't get to eat if you want internet around here. All right, we're gonna try something. We're gonna see if it works. Dun, dun, if I can find the right tools. ONI tools. Okay, so this is what I'm looking at. This is this allows you to edit your save files. It's a whole lot easier than what I did last time. Hopefully, if it works, to give Super Meep superpowers. Okay, here we go. Super Meep. We know what he has. We got. He's got health. He's got immune systems. He's got. Traits, not can't. Those are all bad. Mouth breather, that's bad. You can keep the scaredy cat. That well, no, no, you're super meep, dude. Okay, when I did super meep, I gave them all 50. There's definitely a global limit that I'll get. That'll that'll get knocked back down to. Mm, no, I can't give him all the jobs. He just he'd get really mad and then he'd break my stuff. That would be really bad. But he likes to do everything, doesn't he? Okay, so now if I go to load. Fingers crossed stuff doesn't blow up. No black hole. I think we're okay. 
What do we got here, Super Meep? 52 of everything. Oh, he is super again. Awesome. I'm looking forward to Super Meep. And by the way, guys, I've got some Super Meep swag on the way. Should be delivered here at the end of next week. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at him go. Look at how fast he is. Look at him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Super Meep is awesome. Bubbles doesn't even know what to do. She doesn't have a job anymore. <laughs> now, wouldn't it be wouldn't a good job for Super Meep be a researcher, right? He does like everything, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> Except for being unemployed. Apparently he doesn't like that. There you go. I just want to see how fast he researches something. Give him the research. There you go. Bam! <laughs> Look at that, we've already gone through so much. Look at this. Are you kidding me? Meep has shown up with his superior knowledge and is solving all the mysteries of the colony in one go! <laughs> Oh, we are saved. Man, that's good because I was... Th this challenge might have been kind of slow otherwise. All right, what did we forget to do? Decontamination. There you go. Here's where... We're, here. Here's where we're going. We got it. Take out everybody else that does research. There you go. Just... You don't need to do it anymore. We're done. Bam! Actually, isn't that the thing? That's a new thing. Uh, that a, a researcher will take over for somebody that's slower, right? So I don't have to go and do that, maybe. Why aren't you guys building anything? Super Meep, so sh <laughs> Super Meep showed up and everybody else decided to do nothing. They're like, ah, he'll handle it. No problem. Where's that water cooler? Where you at? Jeez, Zoe is a loud snore. We're gonna have to give that guy his own door. And Bubbles, what's your... <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this super guy go. He's amazing! Wow, okay, research done. Uh... What else? Deodorizer, good idea. There we go, we can put a couple of those up there. That won't be a problem. Maybe make a couple more of these, just so that we have all the food that we need. Doesn't hurt to have a little more. Automation. Click it. Clicking it. Clicking it. There we go. Boom! You know what? I'm going to make all of those priority level three. I never really tried to do it like that. But if I do that and then I just hit sweep, then anywhere that has a higher priority, like this up here that has coal, which is intentional, that's priority level four. So it should be moved from here to there as intended. And if I sweep with a priority of five, then it should get done. 2,500 kilograms? Bubbles? What's your issue? There you go. You're okay. Oh, they're still struggling up here. <laughs> Lerda's like, why, why is it that Lerda is the one that is always doing the repair tasks? It's not worth it, Lerda. It's not worth it. Just run away. Correct. Oh well, GG, thanks so much. I'm, I'm glad I could you know, be helpful for you. I got some more tutorials and whatnot that I'll be working on here in the future. Kind of strategizing in my brain at least how I want it, all that to go together. To a point. We also got some fun experiments as well. There's like a thousand different ideas over at the Discord channel. Things that could be done. Hey, that got swept up. That was so so fast. So fast. Illumination. Hmm. 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 Yeah, we don't have anything that is... We don't have the animal control. We don't have the food thing for them. Although we really need the lure. Eh, let's just do all that research real quick. You know what's cool? Right now we're at 73 people watching. That is enough. Just enough to where I could potentially be a partner on Twitch. If it averaged out to that number at the end. That's pretty cool. 
I would need to live stream a lot though. It's like you got to do it 12 times a week a month Like always be streaming all the time. There we go. Okay, good So now we got some more stuff for the food We can kind of put a lure up here to keep the shine bugs around the bristle blossoms Maybe I get rid of that and move that to there So that the bristle blossoms are all kind of illuminated. That's a feeder yeah, That's okay. That'll work Satisfactory, I think that comes out next week. That game was pretty fun. We did like a 10 hour live stream of that last week. Oh, here we go. We got another printing pod. Don't be me. Oh, good, we're okay. I really should spawn this up here. So the, gla uh, the glass would be, uh, I don't need glass. I got plenty of glass. Bristleberry, mmm, glass. Glass it is. Maybe I can fix this. Never. But hey, we got some more research done. Imagine that. <laughs> Fertilizer synthesizer, the refrigerator, the farm station. Good deal. So, okay, this is why they aren't building it because I don't have granite. Oh, wait, we don't have any diggers down here to dig up obsidian and granite. There we go. That's a problem. Meep's gonna go super excavator mode. Watch him go. Maybe you don't want to dig that one up. <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> this is as fast as the animation will allow. Bam! Awesome. See, the Dreco's now realizing that I'm about at the position where I can go and make yeah, I could start making ranches, and it's like, no, I'm getting out. It's eyeballing that pneumatic door, isn't it? Formulating how it's going to get through there. All right, so we've made a good amount of progress today, mostly thanks to Super Meep showing up, as far as the amount of research we were able to get done. So at this point, I can really start to get into areas where we can, we can make the hydrogen generator, we can tap into the hydrogen vent here, and we have the materials in order to sustain higher temperatures. So if we can pull that down from the spaceship, I think in this next episode here, if it's possible, we should be able to hook that stuff up, get power into the base, really start to build out our power grid here. And if Super Meep can stay on, on research duty, we should be able to knock out quite a bit of research here and maybe get this thing to a point up here where it's more livable. Right now, the temperatures... They keep creeping up. They do come down every once in a while, but they, they're they having a hard time. If you take a look at the liquid temperature, it's back up to 48. So every time it's gone down, it's going back up again. So that's kind of an issue. That'll have to happen here in the next episode here of Oxygen Not Included. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button. I do this stuff all the time. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Stay awesome. Peace. Brothgar out.